Hi, I'm Nat from website-superhero.com and this will be a short and easy tutorial on the basics of WordPress SEO by Yoast. WordPress SEO by Yoast is a free plugin that helps you write search engine friendly content, thereby optimizing your WordPress site for SEO or search engine optimization so it ranks higher in search engine results. This means that more people will find you when searching for products and services like yours on Google, Bing, and all those other search engines that no longer matter. Now, let's begin. All right, first log into your uh, WordPress dashboard. So log into your site. Now we're going to find and install the plugin. So we're gonna go to plugins, add new, because we're gonna add a new plugin. All right. Now we're going to search right here for the plugin in question, which is SEO by Yoast. Go search plugins. And it's the first one that's going to show up. Mine says installed because it's already installed, but yours will say install now. So just click on that and it's going to install itself really quick. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to create a new blog post so you can see how to implement this. So we're going to go to post, add new. This also works with pages. This is just an example with a blog post. Okay, great. So I'm going to paste in a blog post I already wrote. Um, and it is about how to set up a website on a budget. So that's going to be my title. How to, let's say, set up a website on a budget. Great. Okay. Uh, let's go down to the plugin box right here, right below the content box. So, the first thing we want to do is set up a keyword, a focus keyword. So, mine is going to be website on a budget. Why? Because, oh, by the way, it's going to throw you suggestions, which is pretty cool. Mine is going to be website on a budget because I'm thinking, Hey, when somebody wants to read up about how to set up a website on a budget, what are they going to Google? Website on a budget. Boom. All right. Great. Okay. So already, um, WordPress SEO by Yoast is telling me that my focus keyword is in my article heading, and I'm getting green here because that's a yay. Page title, yay. Page URL, content meta description, big ass no. All right. Let's save this draft, and now the plugin is going to tell me how my SEO status is doing. So here it's yellow. So green means awesome, it's happy. Yellow means meh, it's alright. And red means it sucks. So it's not red, it's yellow, not so bad, sweet. Okay. So, uh, we can just follow basically the instructions right here, this guide. To, that will tell us how to improve our SEO. So, URL, let's start with that. So, here's my URL. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to change it to website on a budget. Now, it said set website budget or something, but the thing with SEO and um, WordPress SEO by Yoast, consequently, is that they're very anal, so basically you have to spell it all out exactly as the keyword goes um, for Google to recognize it. So, website on a budget here, website on a budget here, excellent. Where else? Content. Ironically, it's not in my content, so let's see. Um, I'm just gonna find a place to throw it in to have a website on a budget. The more often you throw it in, the better, of course. Now, meta description. The meta description is the snippet preview that people see in search engine results. So I'm gonna come up with one that has my focus keyword in it. So mine will be, here are my tips for website whoop, newbies. What to pay for and what you can oops, finagle for free. Okay, I'm nervous, I'm misspelling everything. But I swear, I used to win spelling bees in the fourth grade, and six, well not the fourth grade, the 
sixth grade and so on. Okay. Let's play. Or inexpensively to set up a website on a budget. So to see right here, this is the meta description. This is the snippet that people will see on Google. So now I have yes, 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 yes. That's a big ass yes. That's what we want. So I'm going to save my draft and see what happens. WordPress SEO by Yoast gave me a green. It means it's happy. I did a good job. I want to have a cupcake to celebrate, but I don't have any, but I have chocolate. I might eat that. Okay. So if you want to improve it, if you still have a yellow or a red, all you do is you go to page analysis right here and it's going to give you tips. So for example, something I could do to improve my SEO even more for this blog post is here it says no images appear in this page. So I can add an image and then for the caption, the title, etc., I can use my focus keyword. Right over here, keyword density is low. Keyword was found one time in my content. That's kind of very low. So I would just go in and find places to add it. You don't want to add it in every paragraph because it's going to sound, you know, kind of not good. Um, so just be strategic about it. Um, make sure it sounds good, it sounds natural. And that's it. You go, you publish your post, and voila! I hope that this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to answer them. You can leave a comment, shoot me an email, find me on Facebook, etc., etc. Send a flying, I was going to say flying squirrel. <laughs> but no, no, I was thinking uh, of a pigeon. You can send a pigeon with a note. That might work, too. All right. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.